as you can tell it's morning and I just came out the uh hi came out the uh the back door there and it's always good to check your space because I was about ready to leave my um quick dry towel because I had it on a different part of the bunk than the rest of my gear so uh something for me to remember for next time but uh you can tell it's foggy and uh I can hear the ocean so let's get this day underway Who could get tired of this? So most of my day is gonna be along the coast here until I start heading inland again. But uh, this is beautiful. Buon Camino! So, uh, this is where the uh, Camino kind of diverges. You have an option to take the road all the way in, which is flat. But uh, I decided to go ahead and try the uh, Camino Trail here, because that's where the official Camino goes, and uh, to see what it's like. And it's a little more rugged, but I think I'm up for the challenge today. And uh, we'll see where the rest of the day goes, but you can see Right away, yellow arrows. <sighs> ah, I think uh, Arthur had it right. He is the person I've been traveling with uh, for this part of the Camino up to the point where we decided to park company down by the road. But uh, look at this, isn't this beautiful? You can see the fog of marine layer here. And I just climbed up this hill for the last ah, 10 minutes or so. I'm sweating profusely. And luckily, the Camino doesn't keep going uphill. I think we've crested. But uh, isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I see in the distance there's this like white peaky thing. I'm wondering if that's a rock formation or the top of a church. I have no idea. But uh, I guess I'll find out when I get closer that direction, but uh, oh, yeah, this is worth the climb. And this also reminds me of the forest with all the pine trees next to the ocean. It reminds me of California once again, because uh, it's similar climate, similar uh, topography almost. But uh, well, a little rest is over, back on the Camino. One quick thing besides uh, finding out there's a little more hill to climb, but look at this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here where my foot is, and right over here where my foot is, and as you can see along the, the road here, those are actually wagon ruts. So it's obviously that somebody used to take wagons along this road. So this is not just some sort of nature trail. This was actually a road for wagons to go up and down because I mean this sort of grinding mark right there and how this looks here and how that's worn down and like especially like right here see where I right here is that right there this can only be caused by wagons So I just came from that way, coming around here into this little village, but I want to show you this. So I came around the corner here and I said, those are awfully shaggy looking rocks just sitting here in the field, but they're actually uh, sheep. Hi sheep. You can see one right there. He's looking at me or she. So they're grazing amongst the ferns. So I have to continue going down this hill through the small town and there's another little uphill, much less than that thing back there and then downhill to a, a city 
where John has to find the ATM to get some cash. Quickly here, this is uh, once again the communal laundry here in town, but uh, check this out. So along this creek here, they've built this lovely little raised causeway. And so, of course, I'm not going down that causeway, but that is, that's beautiful to be able to run and walk along the creek here unimpeded. But the Camino is that way. Whew. Just made it up the hill here. See the fog is lifting, you can see the ocean, but uh, let's take a quick look at my map here. And hopefully you can see it. But I started back over here and I climbed this big mountain and we went down this little village, which is what we see in front of us. And I just climbed up this hill and there's supposed to be a little dip and back up. But uh, once again, this is what makes the Camino here in Spain different. This is a very nice jogging track and the way is clearly marked and it's a nice street. And you can see this is obviously is used for some sort of exercise because this goes on for another kilometer or two. So let's keep going and get to our destination. Okay, so we saw the pictures of the font and this little structure here it looks more modern, but it also looks rebuilt from something that was there prior. But coming around the corner here, I see this. So also you can see this is somewhat modern how they did the stonework here, but this is part of the original um, wash area right here. So I'm assuming they've, as part of their cultural pride, they've retained the original uh, wash area for clothing and incorporated uh, a new wall and some new features into it. But once again, this is the first circular one I've seen. All the ones up to this point, for the most part, have been rectangular. So this is kind of neat. Uh, a circular uh, you know, place to, for the ladies to come do their uh, laundry a long time ago. I'm here now by the sea again <laughs> and uh, there's this really cool fort right here I'm not sure how much of that is authentic versus rebuilt and you can see that the harbor here and you can see the mist over there but uh, John stopped by one two and around the corner three different ATMs because um, the first two basically announced to me rather bluntly that they were gonna charge me an additional five euros for the transaction and the third one I think they only charged me 350. I gotta check my receipt. Plus the whole uh, conversion rate between the dollar and the euro too. So John has money again for the next week or so. But what a lovely sunny Friday afternoon. Here I am crossing over another bridge, but this is one of these original old stone bridges. I'm not exactly sure when this was built or rebuilt or who originally built it or rebuilt it. But you can see it's very rustic. Uh, but uh, to be blunt, earlier today I was on city streets and I decided to rejoin the Camino. And of course the Camino decides, let's go over a couple more hills and through some uh, back alleys almost through some neighborhoods and to be very blunt no it was ugly I prefer a flat street like this and the pavers the uh, tile pavers over going up and down a bunch of city you know back little alleys and narrow little residential streets so Next stop is my uh, 
place for tonight. And I'm gonna call it quits, I think. Not unless I get ambitious and decide to do a little more towards Vigo today. Okay, here's where I'm staying tonight. And this, I'm assuming, so I locked the door, this used to be either a convent or a seminary and complex, but now it is basically one and two bed um, pilgrim suites, which I love the fact. I have a sink in my own room. I can brush my teeth, comb my hair. And look at this, this is just nice and quaint. Each place has its own little fireplace. so. I can imagine any of the seminarians or uh, sisters who are here taking care of God's work, um, staying here, but since there's no need for that, uh, they converted this into a pilgrim's hostel, which for 15 euros to have my own room is a steal of a deal. And uh, I have no idea who this is. You wanna wave the camera? Guess not. So, this leads out to the uh, little veranda, and there's Sarah and some other people. I'm going to talk to them, but uh, I'm looking to get some more food. 